All right, let's take a look at the five best death metal unsigned releases for November 2020. Number five, we're gonna start with number five, Decaying Days, Hailing from Germany. This is their second full-length album. It's called The Unknown Beyond. It came out November 20th. This is Mellow Death, very good Mellow Death. The band started in 2010. I wouldn't say that this band does anything totally unique, but they sound really good and they do a great job with Mo Death. Um, it's a hard genre for me to stay interested in uh, when a band tries Mo Death. And love the dissonant guitars, love the vocals, uh, and the recording is a stellar, stellar mix. Trial by Combat. This is their debut album, even though they came out in 2008. They're from California, USA. Uh, their album came out November 21st, consumed by Darkness. This is a very trashy band, but they're still in the death metal genre. We talk a lot about politics and religion. So, as I said before, they're, they're very thrash metal based, they're very driving. It's hard to keep fun, for me at least, it's hard to find a thrash metal band that keep, keeps my interest. Uh, but these guys, the, the solos are blazing, kind of moderately fast tempo songs, and um, vocals are very crushing along with the rest of the uh, band. Very, very great stuff. Number three, Illustria, Pennsylvania, USA. These guys formed in 2010 formally. They uh, they started in 2008 as Altered Image, but uh, they changed the name to Illustria. Their EP, Instrumental, came out November 16th of this year. They're a very proggy death metal band with some tech death elements. So these 
these guys are extremely groovy. The song structure uh, throughout the album is pretty amazing. The uh, the contrast between the verses is, is superb. Uh, the leads are amazing. The vocals are amazing. The drums are terrific. Uh, nothing negative to say about this band at all. Number two, Shrines of Dying Light from Switzerland. These guys came out in 2016. It's a doom death metal band. The album is called Sadness. It came out 13 November of this year. Uh, this is their second full length, uh, with their first being Insomnia. Their themes are emotions and melancholy. Their physical imagery is very hollow but brilliant in that way. So much of the album is very slow, slowly paced, uh, a lot of build up, some nice contrast between the vocals uh, on some of the bits, on some of the verses, uh, between basically clean, deeper vocals and uh, more aggressive death metal vocals, uh, still slow though. Um, some dissonance in there, which sounds great um, with this genre especially, uh, doom death metal, and uh, just very, very uh, well executed. Um, version of this style of music with, with the, the build up on this uh, on this album was great throughout each song. So number one, and it, it, it wasn't even really close this month, Nader Siddiq from New York City, USA. Uh, Nader is originally from Cairo. Uh, the album is called The Serapetum. This is very Nile-esque, so Nader is from Cairo, Egypt, and it kind of makes sense that it sounds very Nile-esque, and that way it's uh, very death metal, this, album, uh, this EP. It came out November 20th. And it, it's uh, very superb. The uh, the Serapetum is basically a temple or other religious uh, institution that praises the deity um, who uh, combine aspects of Osiris and Apis and uh, humanized form. So back in the day, Nader was the uh, live visual effects guy for Mayhem, which is uh, pretty awesome. The uh, Serapetum, like I said, is very Nile-esque, uh, very Egyptian feeling, uh, using definitely some kind of Egyptian scales or uh, Asian scales, uh, Arabic scales, I, I imagine. Um, it's uh, e the slower parts, which are far less aggressive, even those keep you very on edge in an am in amazing way. And the contrast between that and the more aggressive bits is just purely amazing.
like the video, subscribe. If you think that I missed some unsigned releases that should have been on this video for November, let me know. If you know of any bands for next month or the uh, following months thereafter, let me know. And uh, particularly uh, unsigned releases, you know, definitely let me know. Um, and let me know what you think of the list, if it's crap, um, if, uh, if you like a certain band, uh, if you like all the bands, you know, let's, let's get a conversation going. Uh, I always talk. I always enjoy talking about the extreme metal. It's hard to find these golden nuggets when it comes to unsigned bands, independent bands, because uh, usually, especially with death metal, extreme metal such as black metal, thrash metal, etc., um, they're so derivative. It's hard to find bands that are kind of branching out and doing something unique. Um, so, you know, let me know what you think. All right, peace out.